Hello friends, this is Rupesh and watching CPNet video series on C interview questions and in this question we will be learning about how to find the loop inside the single linked list. Okay, so how to find the loop in the linked list. So there are basically three ways of doing this. There are other ways too but I find these three more interesting. So let's discuss one by one. So the first is mark each node. So as you can see you have these nodes and this 1, 2, 3 is the data part of your node. Let me write the struct for this one. So this is your structure, this is your data part, integer and this is for next. Okay. So if you will create a node of this type, it will look something like this. So first one is mark each node. Marking requires one more extra field to be included in your original structure. It could be uh, a boolean flag like you can include another thing here saying that bool visited and when you are creating this uh, list that time you initialize this visited with false. So let's assume you have initialized false false. Now what you are supposed to do for first case you will start from here as this is your starting node and once you reach, you will check whether it is false or true. If it is false, you will make it true and you will go further. This is again false, you will make it true and go further. Similarly, you will make it true and move here. Make it true, true and similarly true. When you will reach here, you will find that this is already true. So if you found that visited variable true then you can say that or you can return from that function whatever that function you have created for this detection true okay that you have found it so this was the first way of doing this the drawback of this one is you have to have this extra field if it is C++ you can have this as a boolean and if it is only C you can go for character okay character visited and you can initialize 0 and 1 in that. So this mark each node way require extra space in each and every node. So you will be losing 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 and 1 total 6 byte in order to find the loop in your link list. So this is not the best way to find the loop in the link list. So let's move for the next one. So the next one says that keep a hash set of all the nodes seen so far. So how you will keep the hash set? So if you have a link list, you must be having some address, right? So let's assume that your address is 0 cross 0, 0 cross 1, 0 cross 2, 0 cross 5. So this is the address of your one node. You always create link list using dynamic memory allocations and we get these addresses when you create a node. So these are the real addresses. Now what you will do as it is telling create a hash set of all the nodes seen so far. It means you will be having one data structure maybe let's call it a set. So the working of this one is like you will start from here and keep on pushing this address because your all nodes will have different different address. If you will store the values at these nodes some node can have multiple similar values okay so this is one and here you can have one but these address will always be unique addresses so we'll store the address before storing the address we will find whether this address already exists in this set or not so if it doesn't exist we will store that address and we'll go further store this one because this doesn't exist so first you will find inside this set and if it doesn't exist you will store that and move further so this one then 0 cross 2 again 0 cross 3 0 cross 4 0 cross 5 okay you will reach here now this one is pointing to this one so as soon as you go here the address of this one will be 0 cross 2 and before inserting into this one you will find that 0 cross 2 already exists and you will return true. Okay. It means you have found a loop. And let's suppose if this 
linking is not there means this is not linking to this one it is null then you will have a null value here after this 5 and you will terminate that loop whatever the loop you are using for finding this one okay so at last as you have not found any address existing inside this one you will return false from that okay so that was about second one now let's look at the third one this is very interesting and very famous in the interview questions and they expect this from you so let's understand this one and catch loops in two phase is also called floyd's cycle finding algorithm or the tortoise in the hair algorithm why tortoise in the hair we'll see that so this is how it will look like and for this you need two pointers let's call it a slow and a fast and the idea is you will increment slow by one and fast by two so by doing this you will ultimately reach to a place where both small and fast pointing to the same node okay and we'll see that practical here so as i said small and yeah if there is a loop then only they will point to the same location otherwise this fast will reach to the end and your loop will terminate okay so as i said small will go one by one and fast will go by skipping one so this fast will go here so let's make this fast this is slow then again this is slow and this is fast and fast is not equal to slow will move further so fast will go here fast and slow will come here they are again not equal so you will move fast here again you will have fast again and small will go here okay now again fast will go here i mean here and slow will go here and as you can see fast and slow both are at same location so we have found the loop here and this is the best algorithm to find the loop in the linked list always remember this slow and fast and now you can understand why it is called tortoise in the hair algorithm tortoise is this small guy and hair is this fastest guy and if you don't know what is hair means it is similar to the rabbit okay so rabbit jumps and go fast and your turtle go a little slow and at one point of time they will reach to the same location and there you go you found the loop in that and this is how you find the loop in the linked list so we have discussed all the three ways i'm not going to show you the code for this you can easily get it if you'll google it so thanks for watching i hope you like the video if you did like it don't forget to hit the like button Bye-bye.